Brian, who is the creator of the Scott Pilgrim series, was involved from day one. It was important to us and particularly important to Edgar that he have Brian as a key collaborator in the process, not just on where the characters would go, but as the guardian of all things Scott Pilgrim. I think I had the name first. Mr. Pilgrim! There was a song that I liked, and I liked the name. So um, I started thinking about what Scott Pilgrim would be like and kind of what his world would be like. Scott, if your life had a face, I would punch it. Yeah. Wait, what? It gradually came to be like my life. I lived in Toronto for a while, and I was in a band, and then it had this whole other element of uh, romance and evil ex-boyfriends that was just me trying to clear out all this weird, nerdy stuff from my head. Paku Paku means flap your mouth, and that they were worried people would change, scratch out the P, turn it into an F, like. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Generally, I write a script. It's like a film script. And then once that's together, I kind of have this slow, fractured process of turning it into artwork. And it's very confusing, and it changes every time. It's, it's unscientific. There are some comic book adaptations where the, the originators are not involved or don't want to be involved. And I think if that had been the case of Brian, I probably wouldn't have done the film at all. He's the best guy. He, he hasn't been defensive uh, of his work. He's been really trusting and at the same time very honest if he doesn't love something. So I think the three of us have worked together really well taking the sensibility of Edgar Wright before I even knew what he wanted to do with it and applying it to that material, I knew in an instant that this could be quite a combustible combination. You guys are so amazing. 